a parasite once infected your ancestors and never left. About 100 million years ago, a retrovirus slipped its genetic code into the DNA of an early mammal. And somehow, instead of killing its host, it became kind of part of the family. <laughs> that viral gene was called syncytin. Its original job was simple and horrifying, to help the virus fuse with human cells so it could invade them more easily. But evolution doesn't waste a good trick. That same fusion ability, the thing that once let the virus force its way inside, turned out to be perfect for something else, helping cells connect. Over time, our ancestors' bodies started using that viral protein not for infection, but for building and creating. Those fused cells became the first version of what we now call the placenta. Every human pregnancy still reenacts that infection. When an embryo attaches to the uterus, cells use the same viral mechanism to burrow in and build the placenta, a living interface that's half you, half your child, which is amazing and terrifying all at the same time. It draws nutrients, sends hormones, and hides the fetus from your immune system because to your body, it's still an invader. A parasite made our babies parasites. <laughs> a virus taught us how to nourish life by teaching our bodies how to tolerate invasion. And we've been running that code ever since. That ancient viral gene, syncytin, is still active in every placenta today. Without it, no mammal could carry a child inside the body. The next time someone tells you life always finds a way, remember, sometimes the way is a virus that refused to die and rewrote what it meant to be alive.